Okay, we have gymnastics today. We're going to do rolls, Chinese jump rope, tinkling, and at the end we will review our juggling techniques. Here comes our class. Third graders again, I think, huh? Hi, third grade. Oh, they got their bean bags already. They're just like little boys, huh? Got their bean bags. Oh, she's passing them out as they go. They have to stay in the green square. Green square. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh, they're going to get caught. Oh, last one standing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Stay it. Ah. You can go on to the next activity since I used up some of your time. Especially with our shoes and our big feet. But I want everybody to try it and do y'all best, all right? And this Chinese jump rope is called? The sailboat. <laughs> all right, y'all ready? Oh, she got out. She just didn't get on. That's pretty good. All right, guys, let's all try it. And then, of course, you do it from your knees and so on and so forth. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try to get it like this and get out. Yeah, I want to see uh, Felix do this successfully, right? Uh, no. The closest, yeah, there we go. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Well, he got out. He just didn't get on. And you're not supposed to pause between the two. It's supposed to be like, quick, 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 quick. Hey, 
Oh, he got one. He got one. Oh, he got out at least. Let the other person try. She got one. Caitlin's going to be able to do this. She's got small feet. It shouldn't take me. Spence is going to be, and you got to turn those feet. <laughs> yeah, look, turn your feet parallel to those people. You know, turn your, your feet and it'll help you get out. See if Danica can do it. <laughs> Point those toes. Hey, he got out. Trey got out. He got one, huh? Well, no. On it yeah. Moved. Getting out is a major thing just to get your feet out, let alone get on it. Huh? See if Joseph can do it. Uh. Has everybody had a chance to go? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I want y'all to get out the jump ropes. Come this. Student management. This is getting easier, huh? At the end. At the end, so where nobody can step on you. <laughs> one, two, three. 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 And y'all back to the end. Okay? And we're going to try it right now without the leaders. But all the readers, I want y'all to hold the poles and make sure y'all are at the ends to where y'all won't get stepped on. All right, and I want a person here, one person here, and then one person over here. All right, are y'all ready? Go. What? One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Good job, guys. Look, all, all of you get on a pole. We can all do it at the same time. All right, are you ready, Chad? All right, class. All, of, all of you together. Y'all can all get up. Reg and you too. All right, in class, are y'all ready to count? Wait, wait we got to all turn the same direction. Outside. 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 Here, go. Yeah. Like there we go. Yeah. He is, he's right. He's right. All right, class, are y'all ready? Okay, tur turn around. Turn around. <laughs> right. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, class, everybody. 
There's no reason to go back to the original people. We could just stay with the same person to beat. He's not fully awake this morning, huh? Somebody over here? Right. Coach Hud worked you too hard this morning?
y'all get back to y'all last spot. And the beaters are here. And they're going to go, you're going to pause once. And it's going to go one, two, three. And on the second, one, two, three. I want y'all to grab a pole and sit in their spot and continue with the beat while they jump up and do the... Y'all are going to switch places without losing your beat. And Caitlin would get up and dance. Actually, it's steppers and beaters. We did not call them dancers. It's steppers or beaters, right? Okay. So are we ready to try it? We might not get to the first round, but I just want you to try oh, oh, it. Oh, right? we have to think positive. We're going to get this. You don't have to get it in the in three. You know, you can have like a, you just, everybody keeps beating and then somebody that gets over the beat that finishes, let's say he was the captain, uh, when he gets his and he sees everybody switched, okay, ready, now, and then they start dancing. You know, right. so you can take as long as you need to. Okay. All right. So we want to try Yeah, we can't, group two's got to be as good as group one, right? We'll see. See how much rhythm we've got? All right, guys, are we ready to try it again? She's doing well. She, I mean, she's never actually seen this before. She's teaching something she's never seen. And it's a, so they're going to go one, two, three. And you're pausing right there. And on the second one, two, three is when you're trying to come in, OK? Yeah, kind of just be ready come out the way.
music. All right, so now we're going to... Yes. Can you switch with, like, the original musician that we started from? Or does it go, like... Yeah, where you started. Yeah, where you started. Where you started. Yeah, so it ends up. All right, now what we're going to do, we are going to... Change positions in these. I want the same people who are at the ends to stay here. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Go back. Go back. Yes. She, I, I taught bad. I didn't teach her right. Um, you, you do this. The people that get it are the beaters. Then we'll start moving to form that line. So they'll keep beating. Oh, okay. They have to bend over, you know, and beat until they get a row. It's only those two that move. You, you guys will not move. Okay? Okay. So you will, she will fold in here, right? And you will end up beside him. And then Felix will fold in by Caitlin. Both going to squeeze in between us? Yeah. It's a, uh, y'all, they made it just a little too tight. As you can see when y'all tried to sit down. If they were really little kids, so it wouldn't be tight. Okay. Let's, let's see if we could, you can get them to start beating and see if you can get them moving. All right, guys. It might look ugly first. It, it's okay. So okay. all the viewers are ready. All the time I'm going to get this one position here. And we're going to go. We're going to beat. Start to beat. And after here, we're going to try to do the And then, of course, the steppers would know your position. You know that your position for that, and then the dance would continue. <laughs> if you watch the Michael Jackson thing, they move in all kinds of different patterns, and, patterns, and those kids never miss a beat. They're about fifth graders. Looks awesome. You really should watch it. Okay, we need to switch teachers. All right, guys, let's go. I need everybody right here on this black line, shoulder to shoulder. Good motivator. Listen to me. All right, I'm going to give you a number. Once I give you a number, I want you to put it in the air. All right, let's start number. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Turn around, Casey. All the way. Start right here on the side, and I only need one person in front of the mat. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a front roll. What you're going to do is you're going to start off in a squat position like this. You're going to keep your hands forward, right in front of you, facing the wall. The most important thing is to tuck your chin inside to touch touch your chest, and what you want is for the, your, the top of your shoulder blades to hit first so you don't hurt your neck. So I'm going to demonstrate a front roll. It's going to go like this. Then you're going to finish with your palms up like this. And what's the first thing that touched the mat? Shoulder blades. Shoulder blades. Okay, once you're done, you're going to stand up and go back in line. Okay, let's see. First person up. Put your hands on the mat. Good job, Reagan. Ah, oh, yes. Good job, Taylor. Are we dizzy? You're not little kids anymore. We are. We're third graders, so you don't get dizzy when you're in third grade, right? Hey. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Joseph's got it, and he's a big old tall. Spencer's a good roller. Did you wrestle in high school? You should have.
Makes you very agile, doesn't it? It's just that those long legs, they don't get up so easy. Got one more. Good job, good job. like this, on um, the back of your neck, I'm sorry. You're going to keep it placed there. You're going to stand up. You're going to start standing. Second step is to squat down just like so, just like we did the first time. And you're going to sit back and you're going to push off with your toes and roll backwards. So you're going to go like this. Keeping your hands on your neck the whole time so you don't hurt your neck. On your neck, not on your head. On your neck. Okay? You All right, let's see it. First person up. You can't possibly hurt your neck if you have your hands on your neck. It's your color brace. That's perfect. That's a hand clasp back roll. Beautifully done, Joseph. Oh, she left out her progressions, <laughs> which I just showed her. Uh, on your head, not on your head, on your neck. I think it was Trey that had it on his head. No, the other Trey, uh, over there, the twin. On your neck, on your neck. Keep them on your neck. Yeah. yeah, we have to protect the kids' necks, right? Particularly the kids that might be a little bit bigger, uh, that their bodies can kind of crush their necks. So you have to protect the neck, the neck, the neck. Good. Yes. Then we can't get hurt. I would, I would do the back roller. Uh, do that a lot. Also, I would never let my class do this first without me spotting them. So I'd get them all in line, and I'd line them up one at a time with you spotting each and every child. Once you realize that they can do, they understand what you're doing, then you let them do it. All right, now we're gonna learn how to bound, roll and bounce. So we're gonna start off with the forward roll just like we did at The demonstrations are good. So you're gonna do one forward roll. Remember to keep your shoulder blades up um, for it to touch your shoulder blades first. You're gonna squat back up. Hold for a three count, one, two, three, and do a second forward roll. And end at the end of the mat. Everybody got it? All right, let's see it. Let's have a demonstration first like with, with one of the kids. Let, oh, yes, one, two, perfect. Okay, you can pause, yeah, you don't have to pause. You have to pause three seconds. Okay. Well, is there enough mat left? No, there's not. That's because you're right, really not a little, little kid, are you? You guys can probably start off the mat just like yeah, this. I thought that might be a problem. <laughs> you can start off uh, on the floor. You don't have to start off the mat. You'll have a little room for your second roll. Otherwise, your, your booty is going to hit the floor, huh? Yeah. One. One, two, three. Two. Good job. Oh, Danica's doing a shoulder roll. Hey, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, you really have to ball up tight to stay on that mat, don't you? It's because you're not perfect at it, right? It does make you dizzy. And what causes that? What causes that? Do you know? Lack of kinesthetic awareness. And kids do that a lot. When they do it, then that goes away. But if you haven't done it in years, it, you get dizzy real quick. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a combination roll. It's going to go like this, forward roll, just like we started off with. You're going to stand back up. <laughs> Remember to 
Remember to keep your hands on your neck, interlocked, and then you're going to do a backwards roll. Just like that. Okay? Anybody want to demonstrate? Extra, extra brownie points if you can go all the way to your feet instead of your knees. Yeah, when you go backwards if you can end up on your feet. See if she can do it. One. Forward roll. That's okay. If you'd have went a little faster, you'd have made it. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's all about speed. Why don't we just go ahead and go to it? Yeah. Because we cut you a little bit. Yeah. And she's drunk, but she's good. All right. And the Kevin did not come back, so we, we got extra. I mean, we got I'm not sure. His, his girlfriend needed to jump. Her, her car, she's stuck out there. All right, guys, everybody has a station? Okay, we're just going to uh, go back over the cascade and the uh, shower and juggling. Remember, cascade is going to be an X movement. Making an X like this in the, in the air with your arms, with your hands. So you're going to go throw one, throw two, throw three. Okay, I want everybody to try that. One, two, three. You can count out loud if you need to. You look like a robot doing that. <laughs> you do. It works, nice. whatever right, works, you know. Joseph's got it going on back there. Yeah, he does. I think he's ready for bean bags. It, yeah, if, if you guys are really comfortable with the scars, you can come over here. But if, if you still don't have the scarves, don't right. try it, because it gets very frustrating if you can't have a little success. Nice job, Dan. Yeah, when it gets where it's boring, you know, you can, like, think about your laundry list and still juggle scarves, and you're ready to move on to beanbags or balls. I feel like beanbags are easier. Beanbags are what? They're easier to catch, but much faster. And you don't have, you have to toss them well because you can't catch them if you throw them in the wrong place. Nice. Scarves you can kind of toss everywhere and still catch because they glide down, right? But they're harder to throw up. You know, you can't. See some bean out there? I'm really impressed. Usually takes all semester long for you to learn this. Good job. Very nice. The closer you get to a thousand repetitions, the easier the automation comes. Your brain stops thinking about it and you can just do it. But it, the little bean bags are harder than the big ones. Uh, Reagan, there's some more big ones way over there if you uh, want to try the, because the little ones I have trouble with. I just, you know, they kind of go everywhere. You practice And this is, what, what kind of? Uh, Fast cake juggling. Uh, very good, very good. What you're going to do is your, the main concept is to pass one scarf 
to your dominant hand, and then you're going to throw it in the air. So it's going to look like this. You can start off with two if you're more comfortable with that. You're going to pass. You're going to throw this one up in the air, and you're going to pass this one to this side. So it's going to be like this. One, two. One, two. One, two. You don't have to so much as throw it to the other hand, but just hand it. Okay? Then the third one, you're going to throw them both in the air at one time. One, two. Oh, gosh. One, two. Hand it. One, two. Hand it. One, two. You guys got it? All right, let's see you try. And you can kind of move around if you have to. Yeah. You don't have to stay in one spot. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with the bean bags. Okay. I am going to upload what we did today onto YouTube, and if you will write a summary of what it is and for strengths and weaknesses, then I will catch you. Go jump in and practice some yeah, juggling. Job, he had it going for a while. He had at least about 18 seconds on that. We got to get to 30 seconds. Once you can do it about 30 seconds, you can do it for unlimited time, you know. So many times in a row you can do it. Then we'll give you some juggling pins and let you try jug after you get the balls down. You will never be bored, I promise you. If you see anybody having problems, you can go help them. This one's got it right here. Yeah, but your kids will not get it as fast as you do. It takes them a lot longer to learn it. Because they can't toss as well. You know, they kind of toss it everywhere. Yeah. All right, guys, y'all did a great job today. What I need you to do is come over here and put your scarves in the bag. If you had a bean bag, you can put it right back in the basket. Um, why don't you send your guys down to put the mats up and a girl to hold the door open? Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, if I could just get um, a few of you guys to uh, hold up the mats and some of the girls volunteer to go open the door. Yeah, the doors won't stay open, and then the rest of you go pick up the other stuff. Oh, it, it, just stick it in there. I'll, okay. I'll try. I've got to have the parachute fixed, so maybe I can do that at the same time. It falls like an organ. Yeah. Good.